Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I just wanted to do a quick video because um, I people ask me all the time what my favorite and least favorite yarns are and hooks. And a lot of you that people that's followed me for a long time probably already know, but I have a lot of people that don't know and they ask me, you know, what my favorites are. So I'm just going to do a quick review and um, show you some of my favorites and some of my least favorites. Now, I love all yarn. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it all. But there are a few that I don't like as much as others. So I'm going to go over and tell you why. So I'm going to flip my camera around here. Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and start off with a few of my favorites. Now, it's they're not necessarily in this order. I just grabbed some. Um, so, first I'll show you is one of my favorites is Red Heart Super Saver in the Stripes. Um, this one is called Latte Stripes. It's actually my favorite of all the Stripes colors because my favorite color is brown. And I think this one is really, really pretty. But the Stripes are actually... Um, they come in, you know, a few different colors. I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd say eight maybe so different stripe colors, give or take a few. But they're all really pretty. All the colors work well together. Um, it is a four ply, if you 100% uh, acryl acrylic yarn. It's not the softest yarn. It's equivalent to their Super Saver, I would say. But the stripe patterns are really nice. Um, they usually run I think at my local Walmart about three bucks a skein so I really like this one red heart any any of the colors of the stripes though I love any of the super saver stripes um, another one of my favorites is Patton's metallic as you can see it's got quite the sheen on it almost metallic um, it is a it's a nylon acrylic blend with a touch of wool it's nice and soft it has a really pretty drape on it. It does come in lots of pretty colors, you know, as far as blacks to pinks to greens to reds, purples, all those. Um, they just came out, I believe, with a uh, variegated uh, line of them, but I do not have any variegated. And it is a four ply yarn. Um, this one I'm holding is called Metallic Green, and they probably run about five on average five dollars a skein but it's really pretty it makes a nice uh really pretty i think shawls and fancy dress up garments probably very nice so i really like that another one is red heart super saver in their ombre colors again very pretty as far as the striping effect this is one of those that the, the uh, color changing effect is very, very nonchalant, should I say. It um, doesn't go from like a dark to a light real sudden. It really gradually, slowly changes colors. And I think it's probably one of the best yarns at gradually changing colors. Most of them just jump from a dark to a light, you know, and not think nothing about it. But this one is very good at uh, gradually changing. It has uh, probably 10 or 12 different colors. Very pretty. They're all pretty colors. It's 100% medium acrylic. It's not the softest. It's just like their regular Super Saver. But it is a big skein. A bigger skein. Um, 482 yards is the size of their skeins. Uh, average, I would say these run about $8 a skein. It's very pretty. So, again, one of my favorites. This one's kind of beat up, but my tag on it is a Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. Now, this is 100% wool, and I love any, any wool yarn that's a 100%. It's very, very nice. Wool is my favorite um, material as far as yarn goes. Um, it's good for felting and everything. The Fisherman's Wool, it makes nice sweaters and everything. Very pretty. Um, this come the fisherman's wool, it probably comes in about, if I can think, maybe about six different colors. They're all pretty neutral colors as far as browns and creams and grays and some tweeds. Um, and it is a little expensive. It can run in between 
depending on where you get it if you find it on sale 10 to 15 dollars a skein so it is a little pricey 465 yards per skein that is because it is 100 percent wool that's why it's a little pricey but again this is one of my favorites this is the only skein of this that i have at the moment um another one of uh my favorites that i really really like a lion brand shawl on the ball very 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 pretty um there's 481 yards in the skein so it's usually enough to make um a nice lacy shawl <clears throat> i usually get two though of every color or two when i buy a color i usually get two just in case um they have some that's sparkly like this one and then they have some that's not sparkly i would say there's probably 10 or 12 colors they're very pretty the colors are well put together as you can see there's quite an assortment of colors and like i said some have the streamer in them and some don't it's a medium um acrylic and cotton blend it has a very nice drape on it it's very very pretty for shawls or a lacy little top it's very pretty it's one of my favorites um these run depending on where you get it again um i've seen them um, hmm seven to ten dollars a skein for the shawl and a ball very nice another one of my favorites is actually a new run of red hearts and new yarns hopscotch um it's it's, it's really nice um it is a it's a medium weight 100 percent acrylic but it has as you can see kind of a fuzz to it which makes it kind of woolly feeling it's really nice and soft the colors almost look tie-dyed if you look at them like that they don't have they don't make them in solid colors they're all variegated and they all kind of it reminds me of tie-dyed anyways look like this it's very it's very nice i like to work with it a lot it actually has become one of my favorites this one's called water slide um it comes in probably maybe eight colors that's just a guess and i believe these are available on red hearts website <clears throat> i can't remember right between five and six dollars a skein 210 yards but those are very pretty okay and then there's lion brand mandala yarn i like mandala me and Mandela have a love-hate relationship. I love the colors of Mandela. I think they are extremely, extremely well put together. This one's called Brownie. It's probably my favorite of the colors of Mandela because I am a brown lover. Um, there's 590 yards per skein. Unfortunately, it is a lightweight three, which I do not like at all I really don't like to use anything less than a four ply I do make exceptions sometimes and I do make it for the mandala because the colors are gorgeous they come in quite a collection of different colors I mean there are several several different colors in it um, it's great for shawls it's great for garments um, pretty much, you know, it's good for a lot of things, scarves, anything like that. But, uh, the only downfall of it is the three-ply for me. So, I love it and I hate it both at the same time. You can't get, you can't get past the colors. Mandela usually runs at my Walmart. It, uh, it was only exclus exclusively sold at Walmart at one time, and it was $5 a skein. Now they are discontinuing it at Walmart, and a lot of Walmarts you can find it for $4 a skein or even on clearance for a dollar to $2 a skein, So, because they are getting rid of it. And now you can find it on a lot of other sites as far as, like, I think Joann's might be selling it and... Um, you know, there's always lionbrand.com and other places are selling it now too. It's not just Walmart. Now, I do have an all-time favorite. My top, top favorite yarn ever, 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 ever. If you watch me a lot, you probably already know. Red Heart Unforgettable. There is, to me, no yarn that is 
better than this. It's gorgeous. It's soft. It has a nice shiny sheen. The colors are very, very pretty. It comes in quite a few multicolor uh, skeins. They do not have solids, but the colors are very well put together. I have quite a collection of Unforgettable because it is my favorite. This one's called Gossamer. It's actually one that I've never had before. I just got it. It is a medium white, medium white acrylic. It's very soft and it has a beautiful, beautiful drape on it. I can't say enough about this one. This has been my favorite yarn for a very long time. I've never found another yarn that I've liked better than Unforgettable. Not yet anyways. There are some that are close, but none that can ever top it. Um, um, I think Unforgettable, well they used to sell it at my Walmart and it ran about $5 a skein. They did discontinue it. I about started crying and I got all of it that I could. But now I still think you can probably find it for around $5 to $6 a skein. Very pretty though. There's about 270 yards in the skein. Now, those are some of my top favorites. Now, like I said, don't get me wrong, I love all yarns. So, but these are just a few that I don't like that well. <laughs> Guess what's coming out here? The mandala. As we talked about, it's my love hate with it. I really do love it, but I hate that it's a three ply. So, I argue with myself all the time whether I wanna use it or not because of the colors versus it being the weight. But I usually end up making stuff out of it. But that's in my love it pile. In my hate it pile. I love the colors. I hate the, the weight of the yarn. So I'm going to push that out of the way. Another one that I don't particularly like. And I never have. Is Bernat Pop. I would say the reason that I don't like Bernat Pop. Is I don't like the colors that they have in it. I mean. I know a lot of people like it. To me, it's not something that I would buy. I wouldn't go and buy it. Um, I might have bought it once, maybe twice. That's about it. And I don't even know if I used what I bought. I just don't think the colors are well put together. But that's just my opinion. I mean, everybody has their own. So, I mean, if you love it, that's awesome and great. You use it. To, for me, though, it's not my favorite. It's not something that I like to crochet with. But it is a four ply, 100% um, acrylic, I believe. Yes, it is. And um, I believe these run about $5 a skein. The color I got now is called Full Spectrum. And there's 280 yards per skein. But it's not something that I normally go out and buy that I have to have it. So that's a no one for me. Okay, my next one would be a Lion Brand Homespun. I love this as far as colors go. I don't like working with it. I think it's very hard to work with. I will buy it though and I will work with it because I like the colors. But it is it, it the reason why it makes my least favorite yarn is because of if you've ever worked with it, you know what I'm talking about. It's wavy and it's extremely hard to work with, I think, myself. But it's an uh, almost 100% acrylic. Um, these run about $5 a skein at my local Walmart, I believe. This one's called Bark. See, the colors are pretty. And they do come in solid colors, too. This is a variegated. But it's just really hard to work with. It's super soft, but that's why it made my don't like it that well list. Because of the fact that it's hard to work with. The next one that I particularly like is Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. Actually, if I had to pick any yarn in the whole world, this would be on one. This would be close to the bottom of it. I just don't like it at all. Um, the Scrubby Cotton. Now I know they have a Sparkle Scrubby. It's okay. It's this one I don't particularly like though. It's just uh, it's hard to work with. It's just you know it's not easy. Uh, that's why it I mean the colors are pretty they got a good line of color solid and variegated um, but as far as working with it it's ex 
for me, it's extremely difficult. And if it's hard to work with, that just makes it me put it on my don't really like it list. So that one's on there. Uh, another one that I don't particularly care for is Walmart's uh, brand mainstay. Um, I think that I don't like this um, because it's it feels rather cheap to me. And I know a lot of people like it. It's cool if you like it. That's fine. You know, everybody's different. That's why everybody, that's what makes everybody great. But for me, it's not something I'm going to go out and buy. Um, I think it's uh, compare, they, they try to compete with Red Heart Super Saver. But for me, Super Saver is better than this. This actually might feel a bit softer than Super Saver. But I think it's cheaper made. It just don't feel as, um, I don't know. Just don't feel as good. It don't feel as strong as other yarns. It feels cheaply made. It is a medium four ply. And this will run about two dollars a skein at Walmart. And there are 397 yards per skein. It's great for people, you know, if you got quick projects, you know, something small, something like that. I don't want no one hating on me because I say I don't like this. <laughs> because that's just my opinion. I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to love something that's made out of it, you know. I'm sure people can make great things out of this. But for me, it's just, it's, this isn't something that I'm going to normally go out and purchase. That's all. That's just for me. That's just my opinion. So. And last but not least on my hate list. Oh my gosh. This is the thing I hate worse more than anything. Crochet thread. Oh, I hate it. I know it's not yarn. But you work with it like yarn. I hate crocheting with thread. I hate making doilies. I hate making anything with thread. Not that it's not gorgeous. I mean, if you, I made Evelyn a dress, my baby, with thread. And it is gorgeous. Doilies, so pretty. It's just the fact that it takes so much time. The steel hook you use is so small. And to me, it, this seems so tedious. I just, I don't like doing it. That's all there is to it. It's, it's beautiful when the project's done. I mean, crocheting and thread, if you can stand to do it, the pro, I mean, in the end result is, s s surpasses something made in yarn, uh, tenfold. But the time that it takes, the tedious, amount of time and working with a super small hook is not something that I like to do. It, uh, I just weigh it in as I know it's going to make a beautiful project. It's just not worth my time, I would say, um, for me. Because I, I don't have a lot of time as it is to put on tutorials. And for me to try to make something in thread, it just, uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be feasible for me wouldn't be smart because I wouldn't be able to put on, you know, as many tutorials as I could. I love it though. And I know a lot of people, I mean, I love the outcome, the project. And I know a lot of people like to crochet and thread. And I love to look at things that are crocheted and thread. I think they're gorgeous. And I have a tremendous amount of appreciation. I can appreciate it, the project when it's finished. I can appreciate the time that it took for someone to do that. But for me, it's just not anything that I like to do. So when people ask me to do doilies and stuff, it's probably not going to happen. Not thread doilies anyways. You know, I could probably do with them out of yarn. But crochet thread doilies, I just, uh, it's probably a no-go for me. So that's about it. Now remember, I still love all these yarns that I said weren't my favorite. I mean, they all can make pretty things. They're just... If I had to choose them, um, if I had to choose my least favorites, those would be them. Um, it was hard to choose them because I love all yarns, but those would be them. Okay, now as far as hooks go, if you follow me for a long time, you already know. My favorite is Hero. It's a vintage brand that you cannot buy anymore. Um, I acquired all mine from eBay, Etsy, Auctions. And garage sales. I do have um, multiples 
and almost a complete set. The only hook I miss am missing is the uh, nine millimeter in the Hero brand, but I have all the other ones. Um, they come in ones made in the U.S. and in, in Germany, and I have I do have those multiples of both of those. But I don't use the German ones because if you look, you can tell these are this these are both K's. German size is bigger than U.S. So if I was to use a German K hero hook, my project would be bigger than the US size hero hook. You can probably see that pretty good how it's bigger. Um, but I do, I, I collect crochet hooks. I have a bunch of hooks made out of all kinds of things, you know, old ones. But um, these are by far the only ones that I use. If I had to pick a second, it would be boy. I do not like Susan Bait hooks at all, and I will not use them. I do not like hooks that have uh, like ergonomic hooks. I don't like them. I like plain, simple aluminum hooks. Hero. That's it. That's all I need. <laughs> so that's it for me. I just wanted to do, do a little video and tell everybody my favorites and my least favorites. Now remember, this is just my own personal view. You don't have to listen to me. Everybody can just... I know everybody has the ability to make something beautiful out of every kind of yarn that they have. So, just because I say I don't like it doesn't mean that it's not great. It just means it's just not for me. And just because I say I like it doesn't mean it's great for you. Maybe you don't like it. So, and that's fine. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know because people ask me all the time, Hey, what's your favorite yarn or... Is there any yarns you don't like and what hooks do you use? So I thought I'd just do this little video and tell everybody what uh, my favorites and some of my least favorites were. I still like my least favorites, but I don't like them as well as I like my favorites. So I hope that, you know, you found it interesting. Don't hate on me for anything I said about any of the yarn because, remember, it's just my opinion. So thanks everybody for watching.